For the cast of Brazilian film Bacurau, this is their moment to enjoy. They say it's also their moment to protest. Extreme times call for extreme cinema. And though conceived 10 years ago, Bacurau's angry tale of oppression feels like a bang up to date critique of Brazil's current political climate. Here, an isolated, impoverished village is forced to defend itself when threatened with being wiped off the map. It's a film that shows the power of a community under fire. And under fire is how the directors now feel, as Brazil's president, Jair Bolsonaro, cracks down on what he calls cultural Marxism. With the rise of the extreme right, for some reason, they have, um, they despise artists and culture. It's all very sinister in the way it, it, it seems to uh, function. Um, so right now, um, they have slashed all federal funding for uh, culture, basically, and of course cinema and film. Another distinctly Brazilian film is Sick, 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 a feverish story about first love that becomes dangerously infected. It's a poetic first film from director Alice Furtado, who shows Brazil's youth liberal and free. It in some way reflects the kind of nightmarish, sick state of Brazilian society. And, uh, and I think that the ending of the film is like uh, trying to, to, to get the intensity back, trying to get the, the, I don't know, the love back maybe, because we're, we're in a society of haters. It's unclear what help films like this will get from the government going forward. President Bolsonaro has recently merged the Ministry of Culture with a Ministry of Citizenship. Brazil has brought seven films to Cannes this year. It's a record for the country and something to be celebrated. But for the filmmakers here, there is concern that back in Brazil, the clouds are gathering and their future artistic freedom could be under threat. Charlie Angela Al Jazeera, Cannes.